Our combat jets are on the way. Yo, Joes, welcome to another Patreon special missions request. This one comes from general level patron Hector Martinez, and it's for another top five list. Love doing these top five lists. And this one is for my top five flying G.I. Joe vehicles, which Cobra would be included in that as well. And usually I have to think quite a bit about my top five lists, but this one's a no brainer. All I had to do was take a quick look up and down the ultimate USS flag and my Joe and Cobra shelf in the 80s Toy Museum, and I was able to come up with a top five list pretty quickly. Now, I like to usually do my top five lists in no particular order, because I think being nominated is enough of an honor. But number one with a bullet on this list is the G.I. Joe Sky Striker, originally released in 1983. It included Ace, and in this particular Sky Striker, I've got myself a second Ace figure, customized him with a hawk, Colonel Hawk head too. I think that looks fantastic with the brunette ace in the front and the blonde hawk in the back seat. This is a vehicle that I didn't have as a kid, but one of my best friends growing up did have it and I played the heck out of it whenever I was over at his house or he'd come over and he'd bring it. And one of my favorite gimmicks about this particular jet is the wings that deploy. And that's not the only thing that's going on here. When you deploy the wings, the landing gear collapses as well. So that is one of the coolest gimmicks in any of the flying vehicles I'll be covering today. It's a transformer, sort of, the wings being able to go in and out. In addition to that, it also had a bunch of rockets that could be detached and dropped onto a Cobra Terror Drome or any other Cobra base you might have. And if all of that wasn't enough, there was also the standard G.I. Joe mechanical paneling inside here with removable panels so that you could set your Joes up and have them leaning over it, working away, fixing things, getting it ready for another flight. Oh, and another gimmick, the parachutes on the backs of the seats. So you could throw these up and parachute the pilots to safety whenever Cobra blew these things out of the air. I use the word gorgeous a lot when talking about classic toys and toy artistry, and this jet is the epitome of the word gorgeous. No USS flag is complete without a Sky Striker on the deck, and I haven't done a dedicated video on this one just yet because I want to make sure that it's special. So it's going to be a lot of fun to eventually do the Sky Striker. It'll be a lot of fun to be able to go in depth on all of the features, show off the beautiful artistry of the sculpt, and also have a lot of fun with this one, taking it to the skies and putting it in a dogfight against the Cobra Rattler. Okay, now in no particular order, number two is the G.I. Joe Tomahawk Helicopter. Another one I didn't own as a kid, but I had a friend who did, and we had a lot of fun transporting our G.I. Joes in the Tomahawk. Did a really fun video on this one a while back, and uh, it was fun to take it to the skies. It can actually take down a jet because of its vertical capabilities. Lots of space. It's basically an APC in the air. You can hold uh, two pilots up in the front, and then a whole bunch in the back. Right now, the configuration that I have I've got some modern guys in there and uh, the seats in the original one were removable, which I really love. So that you can actually transport some injured Joes in the back. There's snake eyes who came out on the short end of a fight against uh, some Cobra Ninjas, it looks like. And then on the other side, we've got Lifeline, making sure he's okay. And Agent Lynch, that guy pops up everywhere. He's a real shifty one, but that's a super fun, aerial vehicle, working propellers. So if you love the Dragonfly, then you get twice as much propeller fun on this one, plus a rear propeller. And there's also a hook and a winch in the back and a Gatling gun up in the front. And then there was the Eagle Hawk, which is a fantastic update to the Tomahawk. Molded seats in the back that can't be removed. Uh, but the winch is actually part of the body 
and more detailing in the cockpit as well. So that one I think is another vital addition to any USS flag, either transporting troops to an away mission or bringing troops back in need of medical attention. Now don't get me wrong, there are a lot of great smaller aerial vehicles like the Skyhawk or the Cobra Fang, but for this particular list, I had to go big or go home. And this giant Colossus, aerial Colossus, is number three on the list. It is the G.I. Joe Phantom X-19. And uh, man, this thing is just still so big. The first time I ever saw it, the first thing I thought was, wow, that is so much bigger than it looked in the catalog. And to this day, still, I have that reaction when I look at it. Like the Sky Striker, it had landing gear that could be deployed in the back as such. They are not as sturdy as the Sky Striker landing gear, though. They're quite fragile. I owned one before this one and the landing gear broke. Uh, beautiful paint job on it. The, uh, the the chartreuse, that is chartreuse. That's not bright green. That's a Constructicon green right there. Not so sure about that. Uh, it'd be nice if uh, there would be some other options for the missiles here and the guns. Those are pretty easy to replace. The only uh, thing you're kind of stuck with is this bright green coloring inside there and inside there, but it's just such a big sleek uh, jet. I just love how it looks. The, the dark color scheme to it, and it also holds two figures just like the Sky Striker. It can be a little tricky to pull this thing open, get figures in and out, but it's a really cool looking cockpit with a couple of different places for the figures to grab onto, different throttles and sticks to grab onto. In this particular jet, I've got the pilot that was included. Uh, what was his name again? I can never remember his code name. I don't know why that is, but uh, I've got him in the front there and then I've got another one of him in the back there with a different head and helmet so that there's kind of a uniformity to it. Sort of like my Sky Striker with the two Ace getups in there. It's nice how this just slides shut the cockpit and nice tinted blue glass on the front. But if you want something a little more sleek stealthy since it is a stealth bomber uh, this is definitely the jet to get um, i don't know if it's vital to any uss flag because it's just so big and if it's on your flag it's taking up about a quarter of your flag so it takes up a lot of real estate space but uh, for anyone who actually owns it you know just the sheer size of it uh, is uh, a big reason why it's so awesome Let's see if i can get these to work Number four on the list. Maybe I should be humming the Airwolf theme. Da -na 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 it's the Cobra Mamba. Again, go big or go home. And I'm gonna be doing an in-depth review on this one thanks to a Patreon special missions request by Sean Fuster very soon. But this is a fantastic helicopter. I love the color scheme of it. This was before the bright neon took over in G.I. Joe. Black and purple, that is the Cobra color scheme with red canopies. You've got the pilot in the front, and then there are these detachable pods on either side, which each hold a figure. So I love it when vehicles split off into other vehicles, more so when it's a major large vehicle that splits off and has smaller drones that come off of it, rather than something like the Thunderclap that is just equal parts that all combine together, kind of like a Transformers Gestalt combiner. And in addition to the pods, this also has a cool ball on the bottom. And when you spin it, you get the dual propeller blades, which are angled, and they look like they're gonna hit each other. Sometimes they do, but if you do it right, you, if you get the right rhythm, then you actually get some really nice propeller action going on there. Missiles all along the side, and then the bottom also has this little lever right here that when you push it to the side, it drops a giant missile. So that's a different setup than usual. Usually you gotta plug it in and it actually has the hole there for a plug somewhere. But if you want a quick, easy deployment, dropping it on a GI Joe base 
then uh, that's an option too. But a really nice looking helicopter. I really love the color scheme of it, the purple. Just a beautiful looking helicopter and I'm looking forward to playing with it for its own in-depth video very soon. And just gonna take a quick tea break here. Pinky extended, proper English method of tea consumption. Third mistake. So a couple honorable mentions before I get to the last one. Obviously the Skyhawk is a super fun one, the Dragonfly. A lot of people will be surprised that the Cobra Rattler isn't on this one. I love the Cobra Rattler, but I didn't have it and I didn't know anybody who had it. So I don't really have much nostalgia with it. I do love it. Uh, had a great time doing a video on it a while back, but it just missed the cut here. But the final one on my list, number five, top five G.I. Joe or Cobra flying vehicles is this beautiful jet. Hello, gorgeous. It's the Cobra Night Raven. And this was another super fun video that I did a while back. Got a little gun in the back there, but just so sleek. It's everything that the uh, G.I. Joe X-19 Phantom is and then some black color scheme with the red canopies. It's so Cobra. It's got, I was talking about detachable drones on the back, a detachable drone on the back with the same color scheme. So it's smaller. It's a piece that comes off instead of the whole thing splitting apart like that Cobra jet that would come out years later, the Condor. And the drone can hold a figure in the back. Luckily it can hold the modern figures as well as the vintage. And it also has a couple of different gimmicks on it. It has deploying landing gear like the Sky Striker and the Phantom. It also has a bomb or bombs that drop out the middle right there. And a cool little feature I had actually never noticed before until I did the video for this is these flaps in the back will actually go up and down based on if the landing gear are up or down. Well, that's another cool little feature. Not much with the gimmicks here, but it's really not necessary. There is a, uh, a pilot cockpit is different from any of the other jets. It actually lowers down, which I think is really cool. Usually you open up the top here, but this is a little more sci-fi. This jet reminds me so much of Firefox from the classic Clint Eastwood movie. So that is just another sci-fi element where it uh, rises up the pilots into the cockpit rather than top loading them. So uh, other than the, the drone really and a few odds and ends here and there, it there aren't too many gimmicks with it, but it's just such a beautiful jet, beautiful sculpt and design. Uh, I think it's absolutely uh, integral to any Cobra collection. It's huge, it's sleek, it's still shiny. And this one I got off of eBay a while back and it was well loved, but it's still very shiny. So I'm really glad to finally have one as part of my collection. And I think it really beautifully complements the Sky Striker, even though the Rattler is traditionally the jet that goes against the Sky Striker in, in uh, dogfights in G.I. Joe. Uh, I think this one actually complements the Sky Striker much better with the Sky Striker being white, this one being black, and they are roughly the same size as well. So that's my top five G.I. Joe and Cobra flying vehicles. And I, <laughs> and I want to hear what your top five flying vehicles are. So it can include the large vehicles, the midsize, even something small like the jump jetpack. Scroll down and go to town. Thanks to Hector for the request. That was a fun one to talk about. And thanks. And thanks to all the patrons for supporting the channel. Much gratitude. Thanks for all of the love and positivity for all the videos that I do, as well as my wife as well. She's having so much fun on her Star Trek voyage, and I really appreciate all the people who have joined us on our Star Trek voyage as well. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to share the video with your fellow G.I. Joe fan friends. And to join the tribe, hit subscribe. Nerdmaste! Oh,